trick-or-treating kit. It's 11 August 1953. I know I'm going Slow down, son, slow down. What's the rush? And where have you been? I've had your dinner ready this last hour. I've been up at the cricket club and they're one short. Burn up few seconds, they're one short. And they've asked me to play. And the match starts in half an hour and I need my kit. Oh, there's only a white shorts clean. Oh, mother, I can't play in shorts. Not against men. They'll laugh at me. I did wear shorts. And they did laugh, the Rawlins Guild team, <laughs> as I walked out in a bat like. Away there, sonny boy. Next time you play, if you've not got any, lo any long whites, you can always paint your legs if you've got enough whitener. <laughs> we need a bucket full of whitener to paint those legs of the size of tree trunks. I tell you what, lads, I wouldn't mind betting that his innings is shorter than his trousers. <laughs> they weren't laughing quite so much when I walked back to the pavilion. Mother kept a scrapbook of the early trickling days, Mother did. Filled with newspaper articles, it is like. The small village of Burnupfield has long been used to celebrate in the achievements of the prolific batsman Jack Milburn. On Saturday, however, it was his 11-year-old son Colin who stole the limelight with a hard-hit 50 for Burnupfield's second 11 in his first ever senior match. Colin Milburn, the 13-year-old Burnup Field batsman, savaged the Southmoor attack, scoring 145 in 17 overs. Young Milburn bowled at a hostile pace, taking 9 for 40 against Wickham. Also selected for the North of England under 15 side to play the South at Northampton on August the 14th is 13 year old Colin Milburn from Burnup Field, County Durham. They were happy days. Long before I met you, Milburn. I was so certain and like I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I'd never had any doubts from when I was 13. None. I've decided, Mother, I have made up my mind. I want to play cricket. Well, you can't play now, Colin. It's gone nine o'clock at night, Colin. I mean, for a living. Well, you know what your dad and me think about that. Well, Dad says as long as I practice hard and don't start thinking as I know as it all, he doesn't see any reason why I could make it as a cricketer, professional, first class, county cricket. He doesn't see why not. Because this is Burnup Field, a small village. You have to be realistic, Colin. Well, Jim McConnell was from Burnup Field and he played county cricket. He played for England. I just don't want you building your hopes up, Colin. I know what it means to you, your cricket. I really do. I just don't want your heart broken if it weren't to happen, if you, you didn't make it or something went wrong. Don't think I'm against it. I just don't want to see you hurt. That's why your scoring's important. Your education give you something to fall back on, just in case, a safety net like. So that's why now you're 13, we've applied for you to transfer to Stanley Grammar School. So you can do all levels, get some qualifications, maybe even A levels, go to teacher training college, get a proper qualification, a professional qualification as a teacher, so you can teach. So when you go to Stanley Grammar School next term, you must take advantage of the wonderful education you will get there. Concentrate hard, work hard on your studies, Colin. All right, boys, look at the triangle I've drawn on the board. I can't believe I did it. I just threw my wicket away needlessly. That's right, Johnson, it's a right angle triangle. And what mathematical theorem can we use to calculate the length of the line AC? I only needed four more. Four more for a hundred, and I've been the youngest player ever to score a hundred for the club's first team. And I threw it away. Pythagoras. Yes, exactly. We can use Pythagoras' theorem. And what does Pythagoras say? Don't try and hit every ball out of the ground. Yeah. Milburn, what have we just been discussing? What does Pythagoras say? Well, there's no harm in attacking. None at all. I mustn't change my instincts for attack. I've just got to keep the ball on the ground. Oh, for goodness sake, Milburn. The way you're going, you have as much chance of getting mathematics O-level as you do of 
opening the batting for England. Funny how things turn out. Because <laughs> these days my maths is better than my batting. That night saw the lat. <laughs> <laughs>